panel. Now, everyone, bid a warm welcome to Johnny, Misa, and Angie. Good sister. 
That's a good sister. But what, what surprised you when you were in the UK? What seemed very different to you from what you were used to? Uh, the first thing, of course, is the building. It's totally different. It's like the, I really like the architect there. The, it's like a watch the movie or the movie that you have seen in real life. Because in Malaysia, you don't have so much of European style of building. So it's a lot of beautiful church. It's like every church is so beautiful. I think it's like too gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, it's, like it's very stunning, especially those museums and everything. Because I study art. So it's very, very impressive. You studied art? Yeah. What kind of art did you say? Uh, fashion design and illustration. And what? Illustration. Illustration? Yes. That's nice. And now you, and you, you're actually using it. Uh, yes. You're using the fashion design as you craft yes. your cosplay. Yes. That's great. That's great. Thank you. Uh, Johnny, you have eaten a lot of food. You were bragging I that things aren't so spicy here. And then, oh! technically, technically, okay, let's 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 keep. <laughs> we went to what is it called? Hot pot. Where did we go? Hot pot. Hey, what? Has anybody been to hot pot? Yes. <laughs> Why would you ever? Levels. Yeah. One is not spicy. So I was like, let me take a tang here. Let me get a level two. Right? There's one, there's no spice. I was like, let me take these two. And they go up all the way up to four. And so my meal comes and the color is just bright red. <laughs> I'm like, this is it. I'm ready for this. I can, I can handle this. <laughs> I took like a bite, I was like, alright. I took another bite, I was like, I did another bite, I was like, mmm. Mm. But out of pride, I kept trying to eat it. My booger just ran down my face. And I was sweating at 130 degrees. And I, uh, I relented and I said, never again. I think I just said the most couple shots. Uh, I had one. I, 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 
or we don't spend the day in Italy. So just in Malaysia, usually like onion oil spaghetti, we will expect like they have like seafood, some garlic, and then onion oil and some spice. It looks like delicious, right? But in Italy, when you order onion oil spaghetti, it's really the spaghetti and the onion oil, oil. The, the olive oil. That's all. That's all. That's all. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, that's all. That's all. Yeah, that's all. Was the spaghetti in Italy, did it taste good or was it too plain for you? Too plain. Too plain. Just the only one and the spaghetti. You wanted level 3 spice. Oh, yeah. 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 And it's some spice. Mm -hmm. Or do you get a few pieces of mushroom? <laughs> yes. Okay. Misa. Okay. <laughs> when I go to, you know Korea? I know Korea. Yeah. They have octopus. Oh, okay. Yeah. But the octopus is still, still alive. Mm -hmm. Not dead, you know? <laughs> Well, anyway, when I first people, some 
people don't know what a food truck is. So it's a, it's food inside of a truck. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they, yeah, it's like a big old truck, and they drive around the city, and you can like go up and order. With your butt out of the way. And they have, they have, in LA, they get this like cultural boom of like food trucks, which I went and tried them all. But when I first got to LA, I'd never seen a food truck. And there were these little Mexican taco trucks. And I was like, oh, gross. Like, that's, that sounds terrible. I would never eat off food off a truck. That, it's crazy town. And a friend of mine was like, look man, just try the damn thing. Just try one taco. And I was like, fine. I tried the taco and I was like, oh my god, I'll order 10. <laughs> and then I would visit that taco truck like weekly. Uh, but you never know, you never know. So I would say I'll try things twice. Because maybe the first time you were in the right head space. So do it again. It's a beautiful philosophy. Yeah, and you're welcome. Yeah. Johnny's pretty wise, huh? One guy over there. Uh, <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> My dad. <laughs> he said, I'm proud of you, son. That's beautiful. What about you? Nope. If you don't. Where would you take us? A meeting or a way? Yeah, where would you take us to eat? Yeah, would you, take us to eat? Mm, you come to my country. Yeah. I will take you to eat one Taiwan's food name. Yeah, 
sit on there and put it on me, not the lab. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's been fascinating that I've been able to travel to places I would never even expect, right? And so even if I want to go a place, my brain is like, take me somewhere that I would never expect to go because the experience has been incredible in the places that weren't on my list to go to. Like, I didn't want to go, or I didn't have an inkling to ever go to, like, Kuwait or Turkey or Malaysia, and the experience that I had in these cultures was so amazingly beautiful that I would have never imagined that uh, the places I actually wanted to go. But Johnny, how are you not scared? <laughs> to go to an, I mean, what's the sort of mindset behind travel? Because a lot of people are scared. When you went to Kuwait, you were the first one. Yeah, I wouldn't watch you. Yeah, I went to Turkey, I was the first one. Yeah. Came to Malaysia, I was the first one. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I think I have a sense of adventure, and I, I think, I don't know, like, I, I really sometimes think, why not, right, versus I'm going to learn something, and if I keep my mind open, I'm going to expand my universe, the people that I meet, I'm going to become a, an evolving human being, and I think I have this nature in myself to believe that there is uh, good, more good than bad, and I think the energy that I carry takes me into the good place, right, and that there's this uh, loving energy that will be there when I get there, and I think because of that sense of energy that I carry, I think the places that I go have that, I go to those same places and I stay out of the weird ones or like maybe a sense of luck, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, it's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy. Yeah. You come to a new place and you go, I want to have fun, I want to meet people that are great and good and you have a smiley, kind of happy energy and then you draw those people. You draw those same energies, I believe, and, uh, yeah, I think early on you can tell if something's weird, you know. I, I think, have a little feeling. You know. Yeah, you know, you're like, oh, this is weird. Like the way they're handling this is weird. You go to this place, you're, you're like, eh. but then I think uh, you, you you trust yourself, right? You trust this higher positive self. Were you scared in the Batu caves?
mindset, you know, where you just have a bunch of time and if you see something interesting, you're like, yeah, let's do that. Oh, yeah. If we get to archery, the mall is so fun. <laughs> He's no, really good. Do you know? uh, how cat is ever being his brother? No? Do you guys watch that movie? She, she's saying I have a hot zone. You which I have now. You nailed, you got the bullseye of those beats. <laughs> what about you guys? Where would you want to, if there's one place in the world, where would you want to travel? In the I love how you just passed. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
hard subject for me. Because there's nobody who wants it more than I do. And uh, they have yet to uh, call me on the phone. So I still hope for that phone call to her. Hopefully you should. Hopefully we'll get some backstory. If you want an animated short, maybe you can tweet at Blizzard and say, we love Johnny, we love Lucio, we want an animated short. Hints, hints. Hints, hints. hints, hints. Incessantly every day. Do it for you. There's bots that'll shoot up tweets for you every day. You have a channel, you tweet at Blizzard. You have a desk in the back, you tweet at Blizzard. Okay? And so that's what you do. You go to the mall, you tweet at Blizzard. <laughs>
release it. So now you can do the next thing and put it out there for the world to see if love or not love or whatever, then let that go. And the more you do that, the faster, the quicker you can get there. Right? But if you do it every few years and you take a long time, you're like, that was the dumbest thing I ever did, and I know we loved it the way I wanted to love it, you can go years thinking about that. Or you can just let that go into the next one. Because maybe the next one people are like, oh man, you, I, I totally feel that. But through the doing, you're going to discover yourself. Right? You're going to discover who you are, what you are. So do it. Otherwise, it's just this thing out there that's, that's going to be there. Until you actually take the steps to get there. Right? That's it. It's just 
Thank you. <laughs> And I stop 
taking things personally kind of clears you out to the next piece of being grateful. Right? You want to shift your emotions from negative to positive, and how do you do that? Being grateful for the things that you have. Right? So every morning, if I don't have this job, or I don't have like this girlfriend, or, or, or if I don't, if I didn't make it to something I needed to make it to, it is my responsibility to then be grateful for every little thing I have. You don't have to have much in this world. You think if I get a new car or a new job, it's going to make me happy. How many times have you gotten what you wanted and it didn't make you happy, right? To understand that nothing in this world outside will ever make you happy. But your choice to be happy and be loved to other people, that has like exponential payouts to be loving to other people. Has, and, and so every morning that's what I'm trying to get to is love, to see other people, to look at them and be like, I see you and I'm grateful for you. I'm thankful for this job. I'm thankful for a potter. I'm thankful for Igor. I'm thankful that I can walk, that I can talk, that I can breathe. Because some people don't even have that, right? And when you really start to see the positive in your life, you focus all your attention from the negative, the I don't have, that I'm not good enough to look how much I have. Look how good my friends are to me. Look at all this uh, opportunity I have. And that's done through acknowledging where you're at emotionally and then shifting to gratitude. And that's the simplest thing I can say about me is I'm here and I'm very grateful. I'm here and I'm like just ecstatic. I might wake up in the morning and be like, ah! But I take the time to be like, all right, you're ah right now. But what are you grateful for, right? And then it's like, man, I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful to be having this delicious food. I'm grateful to have people who want me here. And then it just starts to spiral. Once I started doing that, I saw my world open up to this. Because I started from nothing, really. And now I'm here, so I would say, take what you can from what I said. And just start with small little bits of gratitude in the morning. See where it takes you. you remember it. You got it? Yes, this was beautiful. We're going to do a photo and then I have a favor to ask for a little, I have like this little quick dance video idea and I would love to do it as a thank you to me for hosting this panel. We're gonna do a photo to remember. 